once again heartily welcome on the academic session of standard costing in this video i will explain one more advanced level practical example of material variances see the example the standard mix of a product is as follow type of material x y z kilograms 160 and 40 price per kilogram 20 18 and 35.5 the standard loss in production is 10% of the input there is no scrap value actual production was 19350 kilograms for 100 mix in march 2020 actual consumption of material and cost were as follows material x y z kilograms 10400 6200 and 5900 and price per kilogram 22 17 and 34 you are required to calculate material variances again in this example standard mix is given for the 200 kilograms while the actual production is given for the different kilograms so first we will make equal standard and actual production so for that we have to calculate standard quantity so calculation of material introduce material 100 loss 10% so production 90 production 90 then required material is 100 production is given in the example 19350 so required material is 21500 now standard quantity for the x y and z x is equal to 21500 multiply 50% so 10750 y is equal to 21500 multiply 30% 6450 and z is equal to 21500 multiply 20% so 4300 kg now we can prepare statement of standard cost and actual cost so sq for the x 10750 sp 20 so standard cost 2 lakh 15000 sq for the y 6450 standard price 18 so standard cost 1 lakh 16100 and sq 4300 sp 35.5 so standard cost 1 lakh 52650 total standard quantity 21500 minus 10% loss 2150 so net standard quantity 19350 now total standard cost 483750 scrap value for the loss is not given so the standard cost is remain same 483750 now actual quantity for the x 10400 actual price 22 so actual cost 2,28,800 for the y 6,200 multiply 17 so 1,5,400 and for the z 5,900 multiply 34 so 2,600 total actual quantity 22,500 actual production is given in the example 19,350. So actual loss is three thousand one hundred and fifty. Total actual cost five lakh thirty four thousand eight hundred. Scrap value is not available, so less. So net actual cost is also remain same five lakh thirty four thousand eight hundred. Now we can calculate material variances. First material cost variance MCV is equal to standard cost. Minus actual cost, four lakh eighty three thousand seven hundred fifty minus five lakh thirty four thousand eight hundred. So MCV is equal to minus fifty one thousand 
50 adverse. Now second, material price variance MPV is equal to AQ into bracket SP minus AP. For the X, AQ 10,400, SP 20, AP 22. So 10,400 multiply minus 2. So minus 20,800. Material Y is equal to 6,200 into bracket 18 minus 17. So 6,200 multiply 1. So variance is 6,200 favorable. For the Z, 5,900 into bracket 35.5 minus 34. So 5,900 into bracket 1.5. So it is 8850 favorable. Total material price variance minus 5750 adverse. Now, number 3. Material usage variance MUV is equal to SP into bracket SQ minus AQ. For the X, SP 20, SQ 10750 minus 10400. So 20 multiply 350. So variance 7000 favorable. Y SP 18 into bracket 6450 minus 6200. So 18 multiply 250. So variance 4500 favorable. For the Z SP 35.5 into bracket 4300 minus 5900. So 35.5 multiply minus 1600 so it is minus 56800 adverse total muv is equal to minus 45300 adverse now material mix variance mmv is equal to sp into bracket rsq minus aq so first we have to calculate rsq so RSQ is equal to SQ multiply TAQ divided by TSQ. For the X, SQ 10,750, TAQ 22,500 divided by 21,500. So RSQ 11,250. Now for the Y, SQ 6,450 multiply 22,500 divided by 21,500. So it is 6750 and for the Z, SQ 4300 multiply 22500 divided by 21500. So it is 4500. Now MMV for the X, SP 20 into bracket 11250 minus 10400. So 20 multiply 850. So it is 17,000 favorable. For the Y, SP18, RSQ6750 minus 6200. So 18 multiply 550. So it is 9,900 favorable. And for the Z, 35.5 into bracket 4500 minus 5900. So 35.5 multiply minus 1400. So it is minus 49,700 total MMV minus 22,800 adverse now fifth variance material sub usage variance MSUV is equal to SP into bracket SQ minus RSQ for the X SP 20 into bracket 10,750 minus 11,250 so 20 multiply minus 500 so it is minus 10,000 adverse for the y sp is 18 into bracket 6450 minus 6750 so 18 multiply minus 300 it is minus 5400 adverse and for the z 35.5 into bracket 4300 minus 4500 so 35.5 multiply minus 200 so it is minus 7100 adverse total msuv minus 22500 adverse now last variance it is material 
yield variance m y v is equal to s c per unit into bracket actual yield minus revised standard yield so first we will calculate s c per unit is equal to total standard cost divided by net standard quantity so total standard cost 483750 divided by 19350 so sc per unit rupees 25 revised standard quantity is equal to total actual quantity minus percentage of loss so 22500 minus 10% 22500 minus 2250 so it is 20250 now myv sc per unit it is 25 into bracket actual yield 19350 minus revised standard yield 20250 so 25 multiply minus 900 so the variance is minus 22500 adds now reconciliation of the variances mcv minus 51050 mpv minus 5750 muv minus 45300 then mmv minus 22800 msuv minus 22500 and myv is also same minus 22500 So MCV is equal to MPV plus MUV minus 5750 plus minus 45300. So it is minus 51050 adverse. MUV is equal to MMV plus MSUV or MYV. So minus 22800 plus minus 22500. So it is minus 45000. 300 adverse so in this way we can make the reconciliation of material variances thank you very much for watching this video once again we will meet in the next video with the new example of material variances take care have a nice time